teenager, I'm going to be, I don't know whether Brother John gave you my uh, uh, passages today, but we're going to be talking from two passages of scripture. They're both found in the second chapter of Matthew and in the second chapter of Luke. We're going to be speaking on the two announcements and the two visits of the birth of Jesus. Amen. There were two different types of people that went to see Jesus after he was born. Amen. And there were two classes of people that went to visit Jesus after he was born. Amen. And the angels and God visit those two different classes of people two different ways. Amen. One were wise men Amen. and the other were shepherds. Amen. I'm preaching already now. You, you, can, you, can, you can read it when you get home. And, 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 and I want you to understand uh, uh, we need to get it right today because there wouldn't, the, the Bible didn't say that there were three wise men. Amen. Let's get this now. I want y'all to get this right. It said there were wise men. And the Bible, I want to do a little teaching this morning, if you don't mind. And it didn't say that there were three shepherds. Amen. Uh, they got a song. We three kings. Oh. That's not what the Bible said. Amen. 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 There are a lot of things that we take out of context Amen. in the Bible. Some preachers I've heard many, many years ago talk about Eve gave Adam an apple. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said she enticed him to bite a piece of fruit. Amen. 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 So we need to stop trying to dramatize the word Amen. and speak it in a truthful way. Manner. Now join me in these two passages. We're going to start with Matthew, and I'm going to skip around uh, uh, because I don't want to. I'm trying to comprise two messages into one to show you two different characteristics of people, but to show you they all are precious Amen. in the eyesight. Of Jesus Christ. That's what I want you to get out of this. Amen. All right, let's look at verse 1, chapter 2 in Matthew. It says, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, say Herod the king. Here's a king. Okay, that's invited to come to Jesus. All right. And in his coming, you'll find that he's going to tell a lie. Well, we, we may not get that far. Herod the king, behold, there came, what? Wow. Is it three? No. There came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. All right, all right, let's skip over and we'll, we'll get into the meaty part to verse 11. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child. <coughs> Did it say an infant baby? No. no. Which means Jesus had been born a while. All right. Amen. All right. Now we're going to keep it real and get it straight. The, you know, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother. And what did they do? And fell down and what? And when they had opened their treasures. I want you to get this now. They presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned 
of God in a dream that they should not return to heaven. They departed into their own country Amen. another way. Amen. I want you to remember that. Say another way. Another way. Yeah, see, because when you have seen Jesus, you all don't want to go. God, the mighty knows. Can we preach? Can I preach up in here this morning? Y'all don't mind that, do you? Okay, now let's turn to Luke chapter 2, beginning at verse 8. Now, I want you to keep in mind, I stick a pen, those wise men, they stayed there and they worshiped the child and gave him gifts. Amen. All right, now I want you to watch what these shepherds do. And there were shepherds in the same country. I'm sorry, and there were in the same country shepherds, three and y'all see three there? No. Do you see a number of that? No. It says shepherds. What? Shepherds with an S. Thank you, sound man. I can hear my endings today. Amen. There were shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Now, the wise men saw a star, but what did the shepherds see? Okay, all right, we, but I want to go on down because we're going, we're going, we're going. Now look at what happened on the shepherd's visit. Verse 17 and verse 16 and they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad. Did they say that worship? They witnessed. Okay, I want you to get this now. They made known abroad and said abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by who? The shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds, they didn't stay there and worship. Look at what they did. And the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Y'all ready? Amen. Take your seat, Belsaw. Because the point that I'm making this morning, God deals with all of us in different kind of ways. Amen. All of us don't have the same mentality. Amen. But we all know the same God because there's only one God. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. Yeah, now, y'all y'all mess with me a little bit. I might do a little stepping in this thing because, uh, see, God, uh, the, the first thing I want you to understand that uh, we are all here because God has no respecter person. We are red, yellow, black, or white. We are all precious in his sight. In other words, we are all What did he say? What do you think he was talking about when he said, let 